Okay, you guys got a sec. I need to talk to you about something. Whatever it is can wait, Rosie, you're gonna wanna see this. Question, what is the number one problem with the coronavirus? Mass death, economic collapse, the way the disease has exposed the systemic injustice at the core of American life. Well, yes, obviously those, but after that, it's how to high five your friends while staying six feet apart. But now the world can stop their worrying because we have created the COVID-5. With this machine, you can execute any high five your heart desires. There's the classic. Slip me some skin. <laughs> sprinkle me, sprinkle me, sprinkle, sprinkle me, sprinkle. The Vulcan scissor. That's a bad one. Yeah. And of course, the need for speed. Wow, that was impressively stupid. I know, right? Uh, so what was it you wanted to tell me? Just wanted to say goodbye. I turned in my resignation, I quit the force. What? Oh! Oh! Ah! Dude, that was by far your best five. You're quitting? What's up, my guy? What? Sorry, it's been a while. I forgot how we used to greet each other. Anyway, how's the cool new PI gig going? Eh, it's not that cool. I have a desk at a WeWork that I share with a Twitter comedian. Oh, fun. But I'm getting more clients. I just got a new job this morning. A woman was assaulted by two police officers in the 7-4. Oh, well, that's horrible. Wait, the 7-4. I know the captain there. She was my sergeant before I transferred to the 9-9. I could talk to her. She can help. Nah, I doubt that. You know, the system can still work sometimes when good people are involved. Is that why you want to help? So you can make some point about policing? No, I'm not some point maker. Shot taker, making girls hot like Oats but Quaker. Hey man, you're rapping. Yeah, I had to see where it was going. Look, I just want to help out. Plus, it might be fun to work together again. I miss seeing you. Hmm. Okay. I'm meeting my client tomorrow. I'll text you the details. Yes, Jake and Rosa are back. Hey, my client's in the conference room, but before we go in there, it wasn't easy getting her to agree to talk with a cop, so don't be too copish. Just be normal. Got it. Normal, not too copish, won't be a problem. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Sorry, you just gave me too many notes. I got my head. Let me start over, please, Ms. Fulton. Hello, I'm Detective Peralta. I know you're nervous about talking to a cop, which I totally get, but rest assured, I'm one of the good ones. And I know how that sounds, but I'm not one of the bad ones who says they're one of the good ones. I'm actually one of the good ones who says they're one of the good ones. And I know how that sounds. Does he just keep going until someone stops him? Yes. yes. Would you mind telling us what happened from the beginning? Sure. I was walking home from the pharmacy when two uniformed cops stopped me and asked me what was in my bag. I said nothing, just some personal items. But then they kept bothering me saying, well, if it's nothing, I should have no problem with showing them. But in my mind, I'm like, why do I need to show them my new loofah? You don't. It's your loofah. Thank you, Ms. Diaz. It is my loofah. Anyways, I said I want to go home, so I tried to walk past them, and they grabbed me. Suddenly, I'm thrown on the ground, and they yelling at me to stop resisting, which I wasn't. I was just scared. Then they threw me up against the squad car saying they was arresting me for assaulting them. I'm the one who got the black eye and bruise all over my body, but somehow I assaulted them. Do you remember what time of day it was? 5.45, 6 o'clock. So right at the end of a shift. Which means? Some officers like to make arrests at the end of their shift so they can work later and get extra overtime. That is so wrong. It is, but I promise you, we are gonna get you justice. Yeah, we'll see.